What's going on? 2022, thought I'd do an EDC update. Uh, got a lot of new gear since the last time I did one. Um, so I guess let's just start uh, Start talking about stuff. Ramble on. Uh, for the watch, I have a Galaxy 3, I think is what it's called. I'm not sure. My phone's an S21. Um, let's see what else can we go over. So next, got a bandana. Uh, I've always carried one. Um, on my body, I do wear a rat's tourniquet. Um, I know it's not the best tourniquet in my bag. I'll show you here in a minute. I do have a cat tourniquet. Um, the rat's is good for kids, animals, um, and it's really the easiest one for me to wear on body, so I do carry one. Uh, belt, core essentials. Uh, as you can see, it's getting some wear on it. Um, I've had this for forever. Two or three years now, I wear it every day. It's still sturdy, I like it. It's a good belt. Uh, wallet is the Artco. Uh, it's like the black camo. Um, nothing really cool in here. I do have a Fisher Space pin and then a toothpick. Uh, since I switched to the Leatherman T4 uh, from a Swiss Army knife, so I don't have a toothpick, which I like having. Um, so I guess we go over the Leatherman. Uh, Leatherman T4, uh, it's in that green. I like green. Um, it's a good little knife. I mean, it really it beats a Swiss Army knife with the one-handed opening. The scissors are amazing. Uh, so I like it. Got it for Christmas. I really enjoy it. Uh, flashlight is the Olay S2R Baton uh, 2. Yeah, so I thought. Uh, I took the pocket clip off. I just rock it in the pocket. This has some wear, too. Uh, but that's a good flashlight, really, for pocket carry. Um, so knives. So some of the, so and these are options. Um... If I'm not concealed carrying or I'm carrying off body or I'm carrying um, outside the waistband, not inside the waistband, I will carry this. This is a Topps, um, I think it's the poker. Let's see if I can get it off one handed. Uh, so I do carry appendix with a single clip. But yeah, Topps poker. Uh, wicked sharp. I might carry this so it's reverse draw left hand or normal draw right hand. Um, it's kind of a good like get off me knife. What's next? Uh, pocket knives. So these are two options. Um, and a little bit of like controversy around these, but this is a Microtech uh, UTX seventy. Um, this is the blackout model. Um, I mean, nothing beats a Microtech. They're so cool. Oop, my bad. Uh, so as you can see, what is it? What steel is this? It's USA made. I knew that. Oh, so this is the M390. It is the double-edged. Um, it's just really small. I don't know if I like it or not. I've been carrying. I'm trying to trade it. Uh, so we'll see. But it's all right. This is a real one. This is not a, a clone. So this is a clone. This is a Microtech UTX clone. Um, I just can't justify spending that much money on a knife. So I went and bought a clone. But this is a high-quality clone. I mean, it fires. Every time it fires amazingly. Um, I love it. I actually carry this one more than the real one. Um, but really sharp. I like it. I like the Tonto blade. Uh, I just like the way it looks. Uh, for my CCW, um, I have two. Uh, so this is more like a summer carry gun or like an outside of the waistband. I'm doing stuff outside. Um, don't really want something that takes up a lot of rooms. So MP Shield. This is the original shield. Uh, the slide cut was done by Cutter Machine Works in Johnstown. Um, I have a Sig Romeo 1, maybe, or 0, maybe Romeo 0. Yeah, Romeo 0. Uh, red dot, see if it'll focus, probably not. Uh, this is, like, my go-to for uh, concealed, concealed carry. Um, it just, it, 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 oh, man, it carries like a dream. Uh, but it is the OG. Uh, Streamlight TLR6, uh, Tribe, um threaded barrel i haven't put any rounds out of this barrel or comp yet so we'll see i don't know if i'm gonna keep the comp this is like a i think it's called a pocket comp um it's on optic optics planet uh it really doesn't take up a lot of space like i thought it would i thought you really feel it when you're carrying it but you don't so i'll keep it for a while uh hive technologies backplate hive technologies extended mag release um but yeah it's probably one of this is my favorite gun that i've ever had so i'll keep it in the collection uh, with that, I do carry the Hive Technologies plus two, or maybe it's plus one, plus one, 
on the seven round mag, it is red to match. So that's eight rounds plus one in the chamber. Um, I think these are Horned Hornady critical defense. I'm not sure. Uh, so the big one, uh, it's MMP 2.0 slide cut by Cutter Machine Works. I haven't got a red dot, red dot on it yet. That's coming next month. Um, I'm not sure the brand sites. I don't remember. But they are suppressor height night sites. Co-witness with the red dot when I get it on there. Uh, fiber optic front. Um, Apex. Uh, trigger assembly. Trigger kit. Um, all the internals are Apex as well. Um, let me think what else. Streamlight. Uh, a, or not Streamlight, sorry. Enforce APLC. Um, and then a Floyd's uh, Magwell. Um, yeah, you can see there's some wear on that. Uh, but I love this gun. I mean, it's a it's a big gun, uh, 15 round mag. Um, all my mags have the uh, Floyd backplate, so I have a 15 round. This is a 17 round, so this will be my spare mag when I do carry uh, with the what is this tier one um, appendix. Uh, it's a really good holster. I mean, there's there's not much I can say about it. It's not already been said, uh, but tier one. So that's what, 15 in the gun, uh, plus 17, so that's 32, one in the chamber. So that's 33 rounds on body. If you can't get anything done with 33 rounds, you don't need to carry a gun. Um, when I do want to carry outside the waistband, I think this is like a real rider, a rough rider. Um, it's actually, I got it on Amazon. It's a real Kydex company. I mean, it's real Kydex. Fit and finish is pretty good. Um, I mean, you can see where they kind of missed on some of the sanding. So that's how you know it's a real uh, Kydex holster, which is cool to me. But Amazon fine for like 40 bucks does fit the APLC uh, kind of got that black American flag going so I like that um, So my off-body carry for stuff is going to be a Tom talk uh, Sling this just came out recently. I don't know how recent um, Try to go through this easy um, So first up got the hand soap where you just pour a little bit of water on um, it's like the sheets First aid kit, uh, it's not gonna be, this is like a boo-boo kit, really. Um, I'm trying to think what else is all in here. Some moleskin, um, some of the, what do they call those? Stary strips, maybe, is that what they're called? That sounds right, so that's where I go. Stary strips, extra contacts, some Clorox wipes, uh, alcohol prep pad, maybe some duct tape, um, band-aids, just like, a, really, just a boo-boo kit, nothing major. Uh, Narcan, I'm not really going to go into this. I mean, if you want to carry it, carry it. If you don't, you don't. Um, have used this a lot, uh, working where I used to work. Um, so Narcan spray. That's really for me or family. That's not for, like, other people. Uh, I mean, I guess I would use it if need be, do the right thing, help people. But, uh, SOL whistle. Um, you can blow a whistle a lot more than you can yell. Um, I do take this bag when we go hiking a lot. Um... If I'm carrying the MMP, so like I said, if I go hiking, I'm carrying, I'll carry the MMP 2.0, uh, just because it's the bigger gun. Um, and then this is going to be a 15 round mag with a plus five, so 20 rounds. And I do have ball ammo in that Winchester. Um, so that's a lot of ammo on body when I carry the MMP. But that's only going to be when we're out like hiking or outdoors, I'm at the lake or something that I'll carry that much uh, rounds and ammo. Uh, fixed blade in here is going to be the Ontario Rat 3 with the utility clip. Um, if I'm home for the weekend or if we're out hiking, out camping, or not camping, out hiking, or out the lake messing around, I will put the utility clip on there and I will carry this um, as my uh, knife for the day. So I won't carry uh, the folding or the OTF. Man, that's good retention, but yeah. Rat 3, this was another uh, Christmas gift. I really like it. It's a really nice fixed blade. So if I carry the Rat 3 in my pocket, I won't carry the tops. Uh, I don't need that many knives. I'm not crazy. Uh, like I said, cat tourniquet, it is stage ready to go. Um, if you don't know how to stage a cat tourniquet, you kind of need to learn. Maybe even I don't even have it the right way. Um, I've seen this online. I've practiced with it a lot. But can't go wrong. I think this is a Gen. This is made May of 2013, so it's old. Probably about time to get a new one. I'm not sure what generation this is. But... Cat tourniquet. You should always have a tourniquet on you. Um, sorry, I'm out of frame. I know, but it's easiest way. 
uh, some Tylenol extra strength. These are going to be in the back pocket. So the fixed blade, the spare mag, and the cat tourniquet are going to be in the main pocket. First aid kit, Narcan, stuff like that's in the front. Um, I really like the sling. If I want to, I can carry off body. I have a, um, a T-Rex arms, just standard appendix holster that fits APLC, and I can carry the off body with MP, MP 2.0. So that's pretty cool. Um, some more Tylenol, uh, Leatherman Wave. Uh, you can't go wrong with Leatherman Wave. I've had it forever. Uh, the bit kit. So this is in like a Quelo, like the uh, rubber rings. Um, I didn't like the bit kit holders. They were kind of annoying. Um, they stuck out, but these this fits all of them. Then the the two piece bit kit. Um, so that's for the Leatherman. Let's see. Uh, we go hiking a lot, so I carry some real good tweezers, um, and then some safety pins. Uh, I think that's. Yep. So that's it for that. Um, I do have a Viper Aid uh, EDC pouch. So give me a Swiss Army knife. Uh, this is just like the normal. I, I don't want to say it's a Tinker. I'm not sure the name of it. Uh, big ideas. Big idea designs. Copper titanium pin. Uh, Notebook. This isn't uh, field notes like an off-brand. Um, and here have a bic lighter. Uh, really, just for like strands on clothes, stuff like that. Uh, USB A to C uh, charging cable. Uh, some rubber gloves. A little battery bank. I need to, I need to get a better one, but this one will charge my phone once. Uh, so I keep it keep it in there. Uh, CPR face shield. And I think that, yep, that's it for my EDC. Uh, like I said, 2022 EDC. Um, hopefully some more reviews and stuff to come. I'd like to film more. Um, I just get in those moods where I really don't feel like filming nothing. Uh, so we'll see. But thanks for watching.